try tiga. Satu, dua, tiga. Ya, tunggu. Okay. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today, uh, I'm in my group with presentation about our case study about organization behavior. And this is our lecturer. is Puan Mazwina Hanem Binti Abu Bakar. Okay, we go to the next slide. Okay, first of all, we go to introduction of group member. Okay, first is me, Khairuzaman Ben Muradi. And my matrix number is 08DPI19F1083. And second member is Muhammad Fami Azrul bin Khairun Nizam. 08 DPI 19F 1047 and third member is Muhammad Nabil Alauddin bin Shahril and matrix number is 08 DPI 19F 1076 and lastly is Muhammad Sharafuddin Lokman bin Shah Nizam and his matrix number is 08 DPI 19F 1052. Okay, we go to the next slide. Okay, for our case study, we choose quarters uh quarters plan uh for solve the problem so this is a plan about uh quarters plan okay first we go to the great agency second is form of a powerful coalition third is great a vision for change and fourth is communicate the vision fifth is remove obstacle and the seat is great short-term wins uh, next is build, uh, the build on the change and lastly is answer the change in corporate culture. Okay, we go to the next slide. Okay, first we go to the introduction of quarters at step change model. In his 1995 book, Leading Change, John Cotter, a Harvard business, a Harvard business school professor of leadership and change management, developed his groundbreaking eight step change model based on the work of Kurt Lewin. The model outlines the eight essential parts of the change process, suggest suggesting that failing to complete any of the process might cause the entire project to fail. Okay, we go to the next slide. Okay, first we go to the first step of quarters plan is first is great agency. Okay, definition. For change to happen, it helps if the whole company really wants it, develop a sense of urgency around the need for change. This may help you spark the initial motivation to get things moving. This isn't simply a matter of showing people poor sales, statistics, or talking about increased competition. Open and on, open a honest and convincing dialogue about what's happening in the marketplace, marketplace, and with your competition. If many people start talking about the change you propose. The agency can build and fit on itself. Okay, this is the reason to change in the question of this case study. Okay, first is competitors introduce the electronic system. Second is ability to quickly transfer patient data from one department to the next. Third will be the herd medical center will lose their market share, downsizing and insecure job. And fourth is the space saving benefits of digital record environment. Okay, next we go to the improved diagnosis and treatment to reduce error. Eight will be increase the number of patients served per day. And seven will be enhance care and decision making response from assigned medical professional. And lastly, will increase productivity as well as the profit of the whole organization. Okay, we go to the other concern of employees. Okay. Employees concern the training cost of the system. They are okay. Their employee will go training for four months for learning of the usage of electronic medical system. Okay, next the other using electronic medical record. They will be start use electronic medical record at next semester. Okay, next we go to the second stage is form a powerful coalition. Okay, we go to the definition. Okay, the definition is convince people that change is necessary. This often takes strong leadership and visible support from key people within your organization. Managing change isn't enough. You have to lead it. To lead change, you need to bring together a coalition, coalition or team of influential people whose power comes from a variety of sources including including job title status expertise and political importance 
hold a discussion to see if they can work together to make a new improvement. Okay, we go to the next slide. Okay, this is the other concern of employees. Okay, some of the employee could be fired or cut off their wages or bonus because the system that they introduce is very costly. Okay, the answer of this question is no need to worry because stakeholder totally support with enough budget for their uh, their system. Okay, next we go to the second concern and the last concern is the new train employee will replace their job are uh, one of their concerns. Okay, the answer is until they learn how to deal with the system, medical cons uh, medical center will provide the best training for their employee. Okay, next I will pass to the Muhammad Fami Azrul. Hello, hi, my name is Muhammad Fami Azrul Bin Karizam and my metric number is 1047. So, for the third step, I will, uh, which is uh, creation a vision for a change. Next. Okay, the definition of uh, the third step is a change initiative is likely to be very complicated and can often be hard to understand in particular for employees at the lowest end of the hierarchy. As a result, developing an easy to understand vision but uh, that capture the whole goal in an effective, effective approach of gaining support from the entire uh, organization. While this vision should be simple and understandable, it also needs to be inspired, uh, ins inspirational to have a maximum effect. So next. Okay, this is the vision or uh, the vision of the intro introduction of electronic medical record. For the first point is to help increasing efficiency by decreasing weight, uh, sorry, uh, for the first uh, step is uh, increasing the uh, quality of the organization through facilitating physician decision making as the electronic medical record support the uh, physician with the requirement information of the patient history, family history, intervention, and medication. Uh, and electronic medical record uh, also help in the pro uh, provision of the better treatment to the patient by follow allowing rapid, rapid access to the patient record, resulting in more efficient care. Uh, they also contribute to the therapy e efficacy, efficacy while e enhancing the practice operational efficiency. Next, em uh, electronic medical report also provide physicians with uh, health uh, analysis that aid in the rec uh, recognition of the trend and the prediction of diagnosis and the recommendation of the variable uh, viable treatment choice. Rather of depending on trial and error approach, this analysis lead to the more efficient, effective overall patient result uh, for the first time. On the patient side, the patient portal uh, provide access to a previous medical information such as lab and imaging result, medication, diagnosis, and more. Patient can communicate with their doctor via exchanging notes, text messaging, and even video call. For second vision is reducing medical error and improve patient safety as the electronic medical record include full medical history so it can detect allergy uh, causing medica medication and drug interaction. Okay. The availability of electronic medical record for the hospital employees might help to decrease the minor, uh, minor mistake. The patient information is already available in, in electronic medical records. So, which uh, detailed information on the patient, the doctor can make a more effective and consistent diagnosis. For example, if a serious sickness occur at the time, the doctor will continue to be able to notice the problem and the patient will be safe more quickly. Or uh, third vision is to help increasing the efficiency by decreasing waste and decreasing medical error. So it will help the organization from any possible claim. Uh, 
electronic medical record allow physician to not only provide more accurate treatment and diagnosis, but also save time. They speed up appointment and uh, office visit without uh, sacrifice. Sorry for interrupting, but your camera. Sorry? Your camera didn't show your face for a while. Oh, I'm okay. so sorry. Okay, so, uh, okay, continue. All right, so, okay, I repeat the third step. Okay, uh, the third step is the to help increasing efficiency by decreasing waste and decreasing medical errors. So it will protect the organization from uh, any possible clip. Uh, and electronic medical record allow physicians to not only provide more accurate treatment and diagnosis, but also save time. They, spe uh, they speed up appointment and the office visit without sacrificing a patient-centered approach, resulting in the health provider seeing more patient daily. Also, the uh, image, also the electronic medical record has a template that that is used to help physician document patient problem or complaint. These templates are frequently modified to a specific profession or to meet the need of the individual uh, practitioner. In the for uh, the for uh, vision is increase uh, patient confidentially as only the caregiver responsible for the patient can uh, can access his medical record. And the lastly, the last vision is uh, help the organization to be paper paper free and it will protect their job. So next step. Okay, uh, this is the three step of strategy to improve. Uh, the vision of organization. First, we can assign four mind training for their employees for their usage of electronic medical record system. The second one, we can uh, within six months, the electronic medical record will be introduced in the auto orthopedic department. And the third step is after successful implement of the system in the orthopedic department, it will be introduced in all department of the organization within one year. Okay, next step is. So this is the fourth step, uh, which is the communicating the vision. Okay, next. Okay, the definition. Uh, creating the vision is not enough to generate support from it. It then need to be communicated throughout the organization. It is an excellent opportunity to utilize the coalition you have built up. As between them, they are likely to have a network in every area of the business. It is important to continuously communicate this message as it, it is likely that competing message are also being separate. So next. Okay. Uh, this is a white. This is a what heart medical center need to do. The heart medical center should make an effort to speak with their employee about the electronic medical record. Um, so basically, a heart uh, uh, health medical center can tell the vision of the organization to the employee. They can uh, they can say that by introducing the electronic medical record, the employee job can be more secure as the competitor introduced the system. Uh, also, the uh, electronic medical record will affect our market share, and this will affect the profit of the whole organization as well as the as our individual profit. So uh, there is uh, this is uh, the benefit, uh, one of the benefit that uh, what electronic medical record will bring to us. Uh, first, increasing the equality to the organization through facility physician decision making. So the second one is reducing medical error and improving patient safety. Okay, the third, third, third benefit is help to increase the efficiency. And the part one is increasing patient confidentially and increasing medical care. And the last thing, help the organization, organization to be paper free and it secure their job. Okay, so I will pass next. I will pass it to Sharapuddin. Thank you.
All right, uh, we'll go to the next slide. <coughs> Okay, the definition of uh, removing obstacle is uh, the first four steps are essential in building the strength of your change incentive. But it is uh, also important to look at what is likely to reduce the chance for success, whether it's individually, tradition, legislation, Degradation or recycle obstacle. It's likely there to, uh, will be a few barriers blocking your change bar. Identifying this as early as possible and rely on available resources to break them down without distracting any other areas of the business is important. <clears throat> For example, uh, the software that is needed. Uh, needed for electronic medical record is too as expensive and the hospital might not have a large funding for the software. That is why the organization need to choose the best software with the appropriate cost according to the request for proposal. Next is the proper scheduling will be made and incentive uh, will be provided in order to improve uh, the employee performance because uh, the, the schedule are packed. Okay, uh, after the training of the organization will provide a professional expert to conduct a traditional seminar and online module training so that the employee will not be worried about being unable to properly use the system after the training. An IT expert will be hired to provide any technical support if necessary. As lastly, in order to keep the new technology implementation in the organization, uh, the usage of electronic medical record will be introduced in the job description of each employee. All right, next is the create uh, short term wins. <coughs> Change process often take a while to reap any rewards and this is this can cause support to fall if individual thinks their effort has been wasted. For this reason, it is important to demonstrate the advantages of the new process by creating some short-term win. Uh, short-term targets are also useful tools for motivation and direction. Using this, to, using these wins to justify investment and effort can help to re-motivate really staff to continue back in the chains. <clears throat> what organization can do to thank? To thank the employee for working hard for six months uh, using the new system, the new software, incentive will be given to the employee who reached 90% success in implementing the system. This is done in order to reward the employee as they give positive results as response to the new technology and its development in the organization. This is also true in the case of increase in the hospital income by 20%. The organization will raise the basic salary of each employee by 10%. By creating smaller target to be achievable with little room for failure, the employee may have to work very hard to come up with this target, but each win that is produced can further motivate the entire staff. All right, next, I will give the to Nabil. Okay, next, uh, we continue with sustain acceleration. Next. Okay, so uh, many change process process fail as complacency trips in towards the end and project are not finished properly. Therefore, Cotter argues it is important to sustain and cement the change for long after it has been accomplished. Keep setting goals and analyzing what could be done better for continued improvement. Next. So uh, what is the weak points that need to be improved is that the program is slow and complicated during data entry. So uh, the solution will be to contact the supplier to inspect the new version, which is faster and simpler. 
And then, uh, the, the second weak point is that some employees still have low computer skills and they found difficulties in dealing with the, with the system. So the, the, com uh, the company, the, the organization should provide extra training courses for those employees. Next. Uh, so we, we go to the last step, which is uh, institute change. Simply change, uh, so the definition for for this is that simply changing the habits and process of employees is not always enough to instill a culture change across the organization. The changes should become part of the core of your organization to have a lasting effect. Keeping senior stakeholders on board, encouraging new employees to adopt the changes and celebrating individuals who adopt the change will all help to promote the change to the core of your organization. Next. So uh, how do management and anchoring, anchoring the changes to corporate culture? Uh, they should set up policy and procedure for the implementation of the electronic medical record. And also they should sign a contract with the supplying company for continuous training and maintenance. Next. Thank you. Uh, that's all uh, from us. Thank you very much. So thank you very much. So thank you. That's all from us and from our group. So bye bye. Bye bye.